How can I, as a citizen, non-scientist, business leader, or politician, work towards solutions to these problems? How can I do something about it? And says, please be specific. <laughs> um, so it's a hard question. It's a very hard question. Uh, um, who wants to start? Jim? I, we, 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 we have to influence policy. And right now, the fossil fuel industry has has uh, our governments under their thumb. Uh, so the one thing that I mention is Citizens Climate Lobby, which is a growing organization that's trying to, uh, to write op-eds and visit congressmen and, and advocate for a simple, honest uh, carbon, uh, carbon fee. And that's now exists in, I think, 34 or 37 states, uh, and I, they're, they're, that I think is uh, very effective. Okay, now the last question. We, so the, the question we just answered was the, the citizen. So now uh, we're going to be asked to put on a different hat, and, um, and this I'll require each person to answer. Um, what U.S. government policy changes would you implement if you were granted the impossibly partisan powers to implement them. So, um, you started last time, so I'm going to put you on the spot first, Jim. What government policy would you implement if you were in complete control? I, you, uh, I've already made that clear. You, I think you've got I to think have. You have. <laughs> you've got to collect. You've got to collect the fee from the fossil fuel companies that rises over time. The money distributed to the public. 